what I go on my people so Marlon Samuel which is um a brilliant cricketer you know what I mean was on um on stage TV he has now um turned himself into an artist according to him he um was dating um the curvy diva and they have a um a break up you know what I mean and a lot of people take sides you know what I mean I was one of the one who was saying that um Marlon Samuels should leave this alone and everything, you know what I mean? But Marlon Samuels and his dad was on, um, on stage TV. And as I said, people, Marlon Samuel has called um, himself Icon um, because he said he's want to be a DJ. And his song sounds good, to be honest, you know what I mean? He was there talking about um, the curvy diva where it's interesting. I'm going to make you guys your piece of the interview. The things Yannick had been saying are, are um, lies, all lies, Marlon? I can tell you, oh, 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 I can tell you, I can tell you this one situation. Remember, she put on social media, oh, she have her lawyer, and she have her lawyer. Um, when, when we're serving her, the paper, we contacted the lawyer and lawyer said, I'm not representing her. Mm -hmm. She tell her, so she have a lawyer, I want to contact the lawyer. If, 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 the, if she had a lawyer, we don't need to serve her the paper. We serve the lawyer. lawyer. But the lawyer, when I contact the lawyer, the lawyer said, um, I'm not representing her, so I can't take the paper. That's one liar for us, 20 lies. But John Jerry can't tell you, remember the first time you meet her? Oh, crooked diva. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call her. Why? The first time I met her was about, about nine years ago. We were living in Narbrook. She came over the fence. <laughs> Gate key was working and, and that's how she entered. So she's been around. Okay. In and out, in and out. But no. this time now she wanted she wanted to be a little bit more serious. But I can't think of serious, okay? I can still attack Gallis and my thing that said so. So she decided to okay, we'll go against the icon and, and damage the icon reputation, which wrapped that in, in messages. But but what she wanted now, she couldn't have that. So she decided to go against me. So we just flick a song and build a song. Touch them now, them now see me again. If she see me again, she'll give me a friend. Over the years, that's been happening. If she see, when she see me again, she'll just give me friends. And now she won't get serious. So people, that's the interview where he's um, saying that the curvy diva, which um, his dad take a swipe at, say, um, call her the crooked diva because climb over the fence. Um, he met her nine years ago and now, uh, she, the curvy diva, is just trying to um, tarnish Marlon Samuels, a.k.a. Icon reputation. And Icon um, had to defend himself according to him. You know what I mean? So, for um, Winfred Williams to give in uh, Marlon Samuels, a.k.a. Icon, the platform, to defend himself, to hear this side of the story. Um, I'm not going to say... I'm picking his side, but I can sympathize with him. You know what I mean? Because people, if for anyone that have never been in a situation like this where um, uh, you, you're um, chastised because you don't want to be in a relationship and this person feel like they can um, say certain things about you, you must be living under a rock. You know what I mean? Because you work vice versa, both woman and man, where... Um, a woman can um, slander you or a man can slander you because you don't want to be with them. You know what I mean? So I understand what Marlon Samuel is saying. You know what I mean? But I think his dad shouldn't have said that call her a crooked diva because um, she, I'm over a fence. You know what I mean? Because woman go to extreme for be with man who they really care about. You see me? Because if it can be done to, for Marlon Samuel, it, remember, a whole heap of, uh, there's a lot of men out there that um, women will go to the extreme to do extreme things for. You see me? So, I don't, I don't respect that. But about and away from that, Marlon Samuel is a talented individual, people. And we endorse that, you know what I mean? Because about and away from the controversy that surrounds him, I listened to the interview thoroughly that he did with Winfred Williams. And I like the state of mind. You know what I mean? And I like that he's so focused on um, helping others and and just he's a family man as he said and he's as his father around him, which is a big influence. And that 
that is a great relationship. I'm not going to say he's flamboyant. I'm not going to say he's show off. I think he's a proud person. You know what I mean? And that's good to be proud because he's talented. Obviously, he's a talented guy. You know what I mean? I heard the song and I like the song that um, he wrote. You know what I mean? It was a song that he did uh, about um, Futa Hype, uh, Gorilla Lookalike. I like that rhyme. You know what I mean? And I think he can ride the beat. So I'm not going to... Um, overlook um the talent because he's of a controversial figure you know what i mean because i see he's a re he realize that he has a talent you know what i mean and if this man is a cricket and feel like he needs to um go somewhere else and explore like you see and boy try to explore football then so be it you know what i mean and if a one person or more than one talent we see it all the time where people explore different different um um skills area so if he feel like that he wants to um do music then so be it because he has the talent as far as i see winfred williams endorse him and i am um, endorsing him too because the song sound good and he sound like he's a good writer and i think um he has um the image to be a a, a, a real dancehall artist because he has that um that um colorfulness so to speak of him you know what i mean and his father is there um promoting him same way because his father liked the music and I think they are a brand together you know what I mean so I have nothing bad to say about him I can just encourage him um, to uh, just stay focused and if he loves the music he pursue it you know what I mean but I have nothing bad to say about Marlon Samuel I listened to his interview and I think um, he's a conscious person from my perspective and his dad is just proud of him and that's why they're acting like um, their brothers and their best friend, as he said. You know what I mean? So that's a great thing for him. This is me. So big up yourself, Marlon Samuels. Peace. I'm out. Work in the country where you have to look pan. And him do great work, so I even do him there at jail. Him still have be the champion DJ boy. Yeah. And some boy we said them didn't want him go jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world ninja man i am saying that wait for the way i'm me on on that if you wish